Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. I know it has been quite a while and um, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get a good run here. Uh, a lot of stuff's been going on. You know, sometimes you just got to deal with life. So what are we talking about today? Well, I was looking at a couple of things and with everything that's been going on, I know it's it's been very difficult to really kind of find your way, right? I know I've been trying to decide which direction I want to go in if I want to try to um, get in front of this <laughs> of this maybe bear market or bear trap or bull trap or dead uh, cat bounce and all these different things, right? So it's been it's been pretty difficult. Uh, I know we, we all, or most of us, most of us that that most of you that listen to me uh, do listen to Black Jane Backer. Uh, I know some don't really like him, um, and I, me personally, I, I very rarely just have a dislike for anyone. Uh, but you know, sometimes people get things wrong. Sometimes people get things right. Um, I think at this point, nobody really knows what's what's going on. I mean, we have a severe dip uh, over the last, what, weeks, week or so. It's been pretty brutal. I mean, Bitcoin's down. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, okay, so everything is, it, it's just, it's just dying. We have dropped significantly. Over the last few days, I mean, Ethereum's down 19%, Bitcoin's down 13%, BNB. I mean, it's it's just it's just amazing what's been what's been going on. I mean, XRP's down 14%. I mean, we're down in the 40s again. Uh, everything's taken a huge hit. Looks like we're going back into a bear market. But this is what I have to say about it. And to be oh, actually, I was looking at Tron. Tron is faring rather well, to be honest with you. Um, in all of this. It is the only one to have lost um, so little, to be honest with you. Let's just take a look at it real quick before I get into what I'm going to talk about. Uh, let's go for the last month. I mean, it's come down, I mean, not much, a penny. But, I, you know, considering the fact that it is only 12 cents, um, that's, uh, you know, more significant. But all in all, let's go back and take a look at XRP, for example. XRP's drop has been a bit more significant. We went from, you know, back over here, 50s, and that's just in the last month. Um, we've, we've lost uh, over 50, over uh, 10 cents, around 10 cents uh, from that high in the last in the last month. So it, it's been pretty, pretty brutal. But again, that is 10 percent. Um, well, not 10 percent. It's 20 percent uh, over here and about 10 percent where um uh, that that tron is lost but that's neither here nor there i just wanted to kind of talk about that for a second now what i'm getting into here is um this was just uh, released about 15 hours ago as you can see the ultimate crypto buy hand over fist with one thousand dollars today so this is the thing you have to ask yourself all right what is the future of money Right. So we're always going to see all these different um, thoughts and uh, people's opinions about what's going to happen. You know, just like this thousand dollars is going to make you rich one day. This is kind of what it's insinuating, even though it's not saying that. Um, the fact is, we all know where money's going. The U.S. dollar is about to die or it's on its deathbed. Uh, maybe it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fully die. Right. But it's not going to have the power that it once had you know, with uh, it losing its its spot in the world. So many other so many countries are going to bricks. Um, a lot's happening and it's just inevitable. The dollar is going to lose its power and it has lost quite a lot of its power. We've lost a lot of wealth just in the last, what, you know, five years since 2019. Um, we, we've lost um, quite a lot of, of our wealth. We're. Uh, you know, 
the the wages are not going up, inflation's increasing. I mean, it's it's been a hard run for the last couple of years, especially. So, again, we have to ask ourselves, where which way is money going? Where is it going? Well, obviously, it's going digital. Now, does what does that look like? Is it Ethereum? Um, well. Uh, some may say yes, some may say no. We do know there are two blockchains that are the most built on currently, right? And it could, obviously it can change, but currently that's Ethereum and Solana, right? And we all know how well Solana has been doing. Uh, it has just been crushing it. Uh, it's lost 12%, but still it's it's just absolutely been crushing it. So, um what direction do we go in? Well, it's hard to say. Um, we, we, I know me personally, I don't want to try to make it even kind of seem like I know what the hell I'm talking about or what I'm doing. I lose money just like everybody else. I make bad decisions um, because when it comes down to it, none of us know. We see all these success stories where earlier today I was looking at an article where some, some guy was saying that uh, some other guy made uh, forty million dollar, forty plus million dollars off of a six thousand dollar investment on some some meme coin. Of course, that's like hitting the lottery. You know, most of us will will be happy or we'll be lucky to see a twenty x. I mean, that would be absolutely amazing if we saw if if most of us saw a twenty x on maybe fifty percent of the coins that we are invested in. That would. I mean, absolutely be like hitting the lottery. So what do we do at this point? Well, number one, we cannot give up, right? We can't give up. I mean, even though we have articles like this, I mean, Shiba Inu surges as crypto market recovers. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Shiba. I, I like what they've been doing lately. Um, and I'm invested. You know, I have I have some sheep, you know, Um but what it comes down to is we can't get caught up on these hype stories. I mean, when you look at the facts of the matter here, Shiba hasn't done much of anything. It's getting kicked in the balls just like every, you know, everything else, right? Shiba is down 13%. Okay? There is no reversal. Right? This was this this actual article was written today. Right? July 7th. Um like it's probably about three hours ago now, but still it, it, it you know, maybe, you know, he he's probably not saying what the title suggests, but the fact is, what does it do? It grabs people's attention and without necessarily reading everything, people just go and buy, which is good. I mean, all in all, at the, at the end of the day, it is a good thing because when new people come in, it pumps the market. And you know, there's something that I said several years ago. Um, those of us who have been in the market for years, you know, the only way we get out of here with anything is when the new people lose. That's it. Somebody has to lose in this market. And that's just the way it is. The same way with the stock market. It's, it's the same way with everything. Someone has to lose for someone else to win, you know, and that's just the sad reality of it. Um, and we've been that exit. You know, I'm, I'm more than sure every one of us, every one of you who are listening at this current moment, you've been exit liquidity for someone else. I know I have, you know, and it's just, it's a part of life, whether it's a, uh, it's a house, although some of us do come out much better with say houses or maybe cars but not every instance, right? You might get that situation where you go and buy a car and it's too far over, you know, over its actual value. You maybe you bought a used car and it was uh, there were issues that they didn't divulge. You were exit liquidity. <laughs> Somebody used you to get their money because they knew what they had wasn't really worth completely what they were selling. So the number one thing here is that we've been in this market for years. Most of you, I'm sure, considering the fact that I haven't really been uh, posting, this is only going to get to those who are the most diehard listeners. You know, those of you who know me, who knew me from uh, way back. Um, 
you've been in it too long to give up. You know, um, it is, it, it seems like a good idea sometimes to just sell and sit on the sidelines. But the problem with that is we don't know the inner workings of what's going on in the, in, in the back end. We don't know what's, what's being planned. And we don't know, I mean, number one, why is the market dumping like it is? No one, I mean, we can speculate, but when it comes down to it, it's, it's not us who control it. You know, the only thing <laughs> retail, and I'm, I'm laughing because, you know, all we are is like a, a exit liquidity for the rich. That's it. Those guys who, who can afford to buy uh, millions and tens of millions of Bitcoin and, and, and up, you know, they use us as, as exit liquidity because, I mean, think about it, like Michael Saylor, uh, I think I'm, think I'm saying his name right. Uh, they were buying Bitcoin at, you know, around, I think it was around this level in the 50s, you know, 50,000 range when, you know, that was kind of a high. Well, why would he do that? You know, he's not, they're not in the business of losing money. It's a, it's kind of a, it's a win-win for him, right? He can write off what um, it, the immediate um, a loss because I think immediately after that, Bitcoin went down. So he writes that off. And then he's able to reap the benefits of the gain, which we saw at the, at the beginning. Well, what was it, around March of this year when we saw the, the uh, nice little pump. But um, all in all, well, the way we have to look at it is the only thing we can do is sit and wait. That's it. Don't get greedy. Um, be aware of what's going on. Uh, you know, I used to think that technical analysis was really not, you know, worth it. Although, you know, it's not going to tell you everything, but it can give you a little bit of vision. A, a, you know, a vision uh, about what's to come possibly, right? So, I mean, what I generally kind of, the way I look at it is we can kind of, understand where it's going to go but at the same time we can't be greedy we cannot be greedy because that will always get us wrecked right when you think it can go a little bit higher sell sell something you know get your get your investment back do something um also another uh article here and i know i'm not really going through the articles but really uh you know it just it doesn't really matter the fact is it's all about the Again, it's all about the titles and, and what's, you know, what's reality, right? Um, here, economist Jim Rickard discusses U.S. dollar decline and potential $27,000 gold. And I've been talking about this for, man, for years and years, right? I've heard 9000 10000 you know, I mean, all these numbers for gold. But what does that actually mean? What it means is that the dollar, for, for gold to get here, the dollar has to be worth absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing. We know this, the, the price of gold and silver is, uh, I mean, it's, it's heavily suppressed. You know, they are heavily suppressed. So, I mean, is it a good idea to buy gold? I mean, I think so. I mean, I'm talking real gold and silver, like tangible. I personally, I wouldn't buy the certificates. Um, I kind of feel like you might get, you might end up holding the bag on those. So I would rather hold actual physical but hey to each his own uh just if you're going to do it um like me put it somewhere safe don't have it in your house don't have it really anywhere anyone else can actually uh, if 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 you can uh can get to it without you knowing about it right so um anyway guys just wanted to jump on here and and just talk some i guess some common sense uh and, uh, you know, you know me, I like to kind of get grounded and really look at things for what they are. Um, again, so many things are going on in the world right now. We just have to be very careful about, you know, the steps that we make. So I'm here to possibly help facilitate that for those of you who are uh, listening to me. And uh, I hope very much and I pray for all of us to come out, come out on the other side better than we went in on <laughs> when we first entered, I'll say. So that's really it, guys. If you haven't already done so, if you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. So I want, I want everyone to hit like, hit the like button. I mean, it's only going to help me. But besides that, um, if this 
has been any help for you, if it's been entertaining, if you like what I've said, you know, just do that for me. I'd really appreciate it. But until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless. Yeah.